Hey guys, this is the YF60 here, and today I'm going to show you the Science Mod Release Cannon 2 for the Sprint Galaxy Nexus. Like, as you can see on the start screen, you get this widget up here, uh, which you know is provided to you by uh, provided to you by Cyanogen, uh, Cyanogen, Cyanogen Mod themselves. As you can see, you get this kind of cool unlocker where you can set anything you want to um, unlock to, so your messages and all that. This is the stock stuff. I kept it like that because um, it works fine for me. So as you can see, this is the home screen. Uh, obviously, I put up my own customizations here, um, but you can put those whatever you want in here. Um, and then you get these kind of neat transition features, which I'll show you later. Um, basically, a lot of the launcher as it is right now is pretty stock. I haven't made that many changes to it. So let's go into the settings here. As you can see, it's running Android version 4.2.2. The kernel version is the CyanogenMods kernel, and obviously it's on uh, Release Candidate 2 for Coral Plus, which is obviously the Sprint Galaxy Nexus. It's a very solid ROM overall. Um, the kernel does not allow you to overclock though, which um, for some of you might be an issue, but for me, it's not too big of a deal. So, CyanogenMod gives you a ton of ways to customize the look and feel and how you use your phone. So you can go into the launcher, you can change the home screen, you can mess around with a bunch of stuff, like transition effect. Um, mine's currently set on tablet, but you know you can change it to whatever you want. Um, most of the stuff here is all set for stock for me, and uh, you know it's it's pretty basic CyanogenMod stuff. Another thing I love in CyanogenMod ROMs and many ROMs is the quick settings panel, which allows you to uh, you know change the tiles and layout of all of your quick settings. A very useful feature. I completely recommend recommend it. It also has these cool things called dynamic tiles, which basically come up whenever you're actually doing that thing. So, for example, the USB tether, if you're plugged into USB, it's going to give you the USB tether um, tile up here. And so, as you might have just seen right there, if I swipe down this side of the top notification panel, it takes me right to the uh, tiles and quick settings, which is really cool. But if I swipe down on this side, it takes me right to the notifications, which obviously you can still access the, uh, the tiles from over on that side, but it's a neat feature to have. So all in all, this ROM is really fast. It's very fluid. Um, it's very solid, and you know it's, that's what you should expect from a release, release candidate too. Um, they're obviously going to release uh, more and more updates to this, and it's a really great ROM to have. So uh, I'll see you guys later. Uh, adios.